welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange and today we are looking at some ways that we can upgrade this 2021 Coachman Beyond that you see behind me. Of course it's built on a 2020 Ford Transit chassis. One of the things that Lola and I are always fighting with in a van and I think a lot of people deal with that in a Class B van is space, storage. Where are you going to put things, pack things, hang things? strap things onto and I think that is where this vehicle seat back this is the uh, RMP kit from Grayman Tactical so basically goes on the back of a seat this is gonna help us out and I'm gonna show you guys that right now let's get into it all right so a few things I need to do right up front here. Grayman Tactical did send this to us. Uh, we requested it and they sent it. So I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that full disclosure. We don't work for them. They're not paying us for doing this. We are just taking a look at this, reviewing it, however you guys want to look at that here. I believe that Lola will have a link here you guys can use. You can get your hands on this and other things from Grayman Tactical through that. It is an affiliate link, so we will get a couple of shekels out of that if you guys are kind enough to go through our link and use it, so thanks for that. So as I said, this is the vehicle seatback RMP kit. Comes in this box, it's about 160 bucks depending on where you get it from. And um, comes in a box like this. We did get a couple of extras with it, so we have a large utility pouch and a medical tearaway pouch that came from, that also came from Grayman Tactical. Um, We've got two of these uh, quick, fast, original clamps that came with it as well as the hardware that you're gonna need to uh, actually attach this to the seat back. Eh, came kinda, I took it out of the plastic already, but I'll show you, you guys all of these straps and things like that that we use. Um, inside, you're gonna get a, uh, a letter, a thank you letter from the owners. Um, this is all made here in America. And um, then there's the instructions for this particular setup that you guys could take a look at. We're going to go through that right now. It gives you the, uh, the lengths of this. So it's 25 inches by 15 and a quarter inches. The real thing is what I already showed you guys. Grayman Tactical. This is uh, one piece of polymer. So it's uh, pretty flexible and tough. I do believe they make this in aluminum as well. It's got Grayman Tactical imprinted on it up there and it has made into USA patent pending. This sends a lot of ideas running through my mind. I've seen different things like this going on vans from aluminum to also polymer. So before I put this on on the seat back, let's go in here because I want to show you guys something that I was thinking about. Some other places on the van that I think that something like this could also go. So let's go take a look at that. All right, so. Voila, that's the door open. Actually, I'm gonna close my, uh, let me put this in here for a sec. And uh, close this. <laughs> easy, easy peasy. Okay. <laughs> so check it out. This is what I was thinking, Lola. What about that? That would be cool, right? Yeah, that would work. That's a cool place. Oh, look at that. There's another cool place. And when this door closes, there's still some space in here. So actually, if, I don't know how to get behind this. I don't think it's, it's probably not that difficult, but if I had the straps and stuff like that to attach this here, I think I would. I think I would do that because this will be a convenient place to put a bunch of stuff, especially if there's an emergency, you can have all those things here and take them off. So, uh, you know, I like that idea. Yeah, some different ideas out there that we'll mess around with in the future. Right now we've got this one and I want to show you all where we're planning on putting it. Uh, forgive a little bit of the AC noise that you guys are going to hear. It is particularly hot here in Florida. But check this out. Look, we've got some open space here that I think something like this can go in, right? Lots of space here. This wouldn't be too bad if we had mounting points for it, which I think we could uh, probably figure something out. Uh, there's space right here, for example, you know, that's not too bad. And then, you know, depending on how tall you are and uh, whether or not you think you have room, these things are actually not too bad. So like if you had, maybe if you had it up here, you can also do things because I still have headroom and I'm like 5'11 and there's still a little bit of headroom to hang some bags and things like that off of it. You don't have to get as crazy 
as, <laughs> as I'm about to get. And then also, if you look at this, so we've got two seats in this. Um, so we've got the, the driver's seat right here, and we could probably put it there. But typically when I'm driving, this seat is moved all the way to the back. So I don't know, you know, that's really probably not going to be effective. Um, so our other option is right here on the passenger seat, and that's where we're going to put it. And I'm going to do it as easy as this. Okay, so that's a little bit of editing magic. It's really not difficult to put this on, so I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys that right now. We're gonna start by, we're gonna put in our uh, hooks up top here. And let's see, where's the instructions? Here's the instructions. If you take a look at this, lace female buckle strap through any punch out on RMP, past strap end up through front of buckle body, then uh, back down through the back side of the buckle body, cinch down and loose end to tighten up. And then, you know, basically just skipping forward a little bit. Once we do that, there's uh, we'll be able to strap it around the headrest here. So that's what we're gonna do first. So let's start with that here and get out our pieces. Now, let me just show you guys here, taking out off the uh, headrest of the transit seat here is easy, you wanna push ease in and then get this all the way up and pull it out like that there you go free willy so these two go back in over that they go right here like some like that right so I'm just gonna put those on here and actually close this back down Okay, so you just want to get these back down in there like that. There you go. Those are on. So here's the two female ends that they were talking about right there. So we are going to strap these down. I'm going to do it probably through this. So I think probably the way to go is like this. Pull it through. Do so you want to put it in through here? Yeah, we can make this as tight here as we want to. I may adjust this a little bit later. Okay. Okay, so we probably need to adjust this, and make this tighter, you know? Um, and then the other part is gonna wind up going around it like here. So first I would probably try to figure out how to adjust this up here. I'm wondering if we need to put it off on the ends or even put it up here, you know? Lower. So this is the 48 inch bottom strap around. This goes at the base at the bottom. So I'm gonna basically take these off here and uh, put these on first on either end where we need them to be. And then we'll do this around the seat itself. So that's gonna go there, right? 
this needs to come around the bottom part of this seat, like right here. See that? Okay, so it's going on the inside of the passenger seat. Okay. Yeah, that's going to come around and connect to that stuff here. And then you can make this tight on one side. Uh, well, you would have to, I yeah. see. So we'll just put this around here. And this kind of like is going to go and tuck in there after we do it. All right, so I'm guessing that we're going to put it here. If it doesn't work, we'll put it lower or higher, whatever is needed. But I'm going to go here on both sides and run this through. Okay, let's put this back in here. Okay, then we've got this coming around. So I'm gonna put this end in here. Okay, so this will go here. This. Okay, there we go. We can tighten that down to our heart's content. Right, and then we could pull on air. Okay. Only one side tightens? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm just going to pull this around. So, here, how's that look? This looks good, right? It does. Yeah. All right, so the Gray Man Tactical RMP, or Rigid Molly Panel, is uh, all secure up here right now. I mean, I think we could probably make this a little bit tighter, you know, so it fits on here, fits on here a little bit tighter. Um, and then if you want to take it off, it's easy enough to take it off. So like in, the, in these vehicles, you might want to swing this seat around and stuff like that. You could just take everything off, but here it goes. This is basically it. As I said, I'll do some tightening up in, uh, in some different places here. Um, so that to me, that looks good. What do you think, Lola? I think it looks good. Looks good? All right, so now what do we put on here? Um, you could do lots of different things. It's all up to you. I've seen po people put defense items up there, all kinds of stuff. For us, really, what we're going to do is we're going to put things that um, we could always need here. So probably uh, emergency medical kit we'll put on here. We'll put some light, some tools, and things like that. Maybe something that I would want to grab off of Lola's seat while I'm driving, that kind of a thing. So we're going to do that now and give you guys a little demonstration of how this works or how it would look when we set it up all right so this is the quick fast um, original clamp for buffer tube that's what this is for we're not using it for that we're going to use it for something else basically it comes here with the clamp and the bits that help it connect to the molly these three pieces do that they go in the back of that we'll we'll assemble all of that and we're going to use it to hold on to the handle of our uh what is this a shark yeah shark room here you want it up high you want to hear? Yeah. Okay, so I think this goes back here like that, right? Oh. So that fits in on the back, okay. right? So that goes there. You put this in here, and I believe that this piece is going to actually sit in here. Let's say that goes in that way. So the way that you would do this, put this in here, put this back here, and then we'll flip this over. Okay, 
and put this down here like that. This, see that's recessed? Right. So I think that goes in there. And then the screw goes in through here. Goes in. Okay. Can you see that? I do. Comes out right there. And then we could put that in here and screw it from this side. Just captures that metal in back. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. It's nice and uh, snug. Yeah. I don't think you need to over tighten it. Yeah. Tight. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't want it to come off, but yeah, I think that's how that goes. All right. So right now the Molly panel is off the seat, and I just want to show you guys how we have it set up. You can set this up however you want to. I'm sure we're going to change this around, but just real quickly, we've got our shark vacuum broom on it here. We've got a bungee holding it here, and um, I'll show you how, but this is basically like a buffer tube device that this has to hold on a buffer tube to the Molly pack if you want to. We've repurposed it for the shark here. We've got our uh, medical kit is in this, and this bag here, we can just put a bunch of different things in it, but we've got ponchos and stuff like that we've got there. So if we're out in the rain, we can grab those. Uh, there's a, a nice big uh, kookery knife here from, from Topps Knives. Check that out. Very nice. Kookery. All right. You never know. That's my emergency kookery from Topps Knives that I keep close at hand. Close at hand. We've got a flashlight. This particular one is from Olight. And if you guys are looking for any of these stuff, I'm sure Lola will have uh, some stuff in the uh, description, some links to Amazon and different places that you guys can get this stuff. So over here, I actually have my mutt, my trusty mutt that I've had for a while. This is a great multi-tool, Leatherman mutt. You can have whatever multi-tool works for you. I've got this and other ones here. So there you go. And that can go back here. I am going to put it on here right now as we speak should be easy enough so if you wanted to swing this chair around you can easily take the stuff off or if for some reason you need to remove it from here you know you can easily do that and then put it back on here as I'm doing and it will be secure there you go all right. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep this as short and sweet as I can. You know, I've got limits on how short I could keep things here. Um, this was a quick look at the RMP, which is rigid Molly panel. I think this is, for me, I, I actually like it in there. This is our first time actually getting a look at it inside of our van. I think it fits really well there. There may be some other places that we could figure out to put some things like this. And I think it's a really cool solution for what we need, especially in a class B van like this. For if you want to have things right at hand, emergency things, if you have to stop somewhere in the middle of the night, you're on the road, you need a flashlight, you need uh, emergency medical stuff, tools, you need to, whatever it is that you may need in a pinch and you want to have them very quickly at your fingertips. So far, it looks like it's going to work for us. I'll let you guys know. Lola and I will be using this now um, when we're on the road and we'll let you guys know how it's working for us. If you're looking for any of the things that we showed here today in this video you can check the description Lola will put some links in there and if you go through those a little bit of uh, change comes back in our direction from anything that we put in there that is an affiliate link so we thank you and we appreciate it please hit the subscribe button on this video leave your comments let us know if you have something like this if you're thinking about it if you have some different options in this realm that you have tried and you've done before uh, we would appreciate that. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks to Lola. We're out of here. We'll see you next time on Stranger Palooza. Bye.